Hey everybody, welcome to Ripping One-Handed. I'm Ryan. I have one hand. This is it. This is not it. Uh, I was born with uh, one hand, born like this. Um, so this is going to be kind of a special video. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. Um, so I don't even know where to start. Uh, when I was a kid, my favorite player was Jim Abbott. Before that, it was Robin Yount. I'm a brewer kid. Um, but then when Jim came into prominence, he was my guy. He was a guy with one hand, he was pitching in the major leagues. I was a super athletic little kid. Looked up to him, it was amazing. Um, flash forward years later, um, we actually are now friends. <laughs> um, there was a, a day on Twitter, um, he had kind of a, a back and forth with another friend of mine and I chimed in and at that point I had a podcast um, that's still up. In fact, if you wanna go listen to it, I'll tell you where to later. Um, but I had chimed in and was like, hey Jim, I followed you growing up, you're my favorite player, I would love to interview you sometime. You know, I didn't really expect anything because it's Twitter, who knows, but, but like right away he responded and was like, that sounds great, let's do it. And I remember sitting there, my wife had just walked in and I was just staring at my computer like, she was like, are you okay? And I was like, I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna interview Jim Abbott. And she was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense that you're acting like this. And it was an amazing interview. It's it's one of the things I'm actually most proud of in my life. Um, if you go to livingonehanded.com, um, you'll see a podcast page. And it's the very first episode is when I, I interviewed Jim Abbott. This was years ago now. Um, but we've maintained uh, a friendship. Uh, I actually got to meet him when I went out to Los Angeles and I spoke at a, a hospital out there and he was at the same event. I got to play catch with him and it was incredible. So cool. And he's just the nicest guy. He really is a genuine, good guy. Um, and then I wrote a book called Different is Awesome based on a true story where one of my younger brothers brought me for show and tell one year. Um, and so the book actually retells that story. And uh, by the end of the story, you realize, you know, these kids all ask the brother questions about how he does things. And you realize that there's something different about each of them as well. And that uh, we're all different in some way or another. Mine is very obvious, um, but all of us are, are different in some way or another, and that's something to celebrate, that's something to embrace. Um, and so it's been an amazing journey to go to, I've, I've gone all around the country to, to different schools and done school assemblies and spoken at businesses and hospitals and all kinds of things. So it's, it's been amazing just where that this journey has taken me. Um, but one of the things I did is um, Jim has generously um, signed many things for me um, because what I like to do is I like to give stuff away when people like say they buy a book or if I have like a someone joins my Facebook page or emails me through my website or something and they're a family who has a little kid who's trying to figure something out or they just found out they're having a kid with one hand and they're they're freaked out they don't know what to do um, and so I like to send them a little something and so um, I had Jim sign basically all of my cards that I had collected of him when I was a kid um, he, he, again, graciously signed those for me, and I've been giving those uh, away to people, um, and I love that. Um, and so, long story kind of short, uh, on Twitter the other day, I was just like, hey, if you guys have Jim Abbott cards that you're not going to do anything with, or if you want to donate them to a good cause, um, let me know, and, and I would take them, and then, like I said, I'll have... Jim sign them at some point and then I'll just have kind of a cache of cards that I get to give away uh, to kids who um, look up to Jim, who are in that same situation. The response was amazing. The, the response has been incredible um, to see. So I wanted to open some of these on video and just show you guys. I don't know that I'll have everybody's like Twitter handle on here, I'm sorry, but I'll try to tag you maybe if I share it on Twitter. Um, but it's just been so cool to see. So this stack right here, oh, hold on. Sorry, my battery's low, so I gotta hurry up. Uh, this stack right here is from my friend Mike in Vegas. I think it's at Mike in Vegas on Twitter. Um, just a real, a nice big stack of cards, a whole bunch of the 89 upper deck, which is like my favorite. Also a archives signature numbered to 20, 16 of 20. And then a couple graded ones, that's a, a five and an eight um, of those. So that's pretty awesome. So thank you, Mike, for that. Um, and then we have, let's see here. 
So like I said, I'll try to go quickly. Uh, Matt Collins sent a couple of these guys here. So we'll add those to the stack. Thank you, Matt. And then we've got, let's see here. This one has a little letter in it. Ryan, wish I had more than just the two to send. Was a fan of Abbott as a Michigan fan growing up. Obviously a story so much more. I've watched his no-hitter highlights with both my sons. That's awesome. I'm very happy to hear these will be going to kids. If I find more, they're coming your way. Thanks, Joe. At Texigan RBL on, uh, on Twitter. And these are a couple of my favorites as well. So you've got the 90 Fleer and then the 90 uh, Tops as well. So thank you. Thank you, Joe. That's awesome. They will go to a good home. All right. These ones I have not opened yet, so let's see. These ones all just came today, Saturday. All right. Nice. So we've got another uh, 90 tops Jim Abbott there. So that will look awesome in some little kid's room. This was from T. Bra. I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is where that one is from. And what do we have in here? Let's see. Oh, nice. This is another one of my favorites. This is the, what is this? The 80, Tops Traded 89, right? 88, is that? Yeah, 88 Tops Traded Jim Abbott USA card. Love that one. So that is awesome. Thank you. Jay Pittman from North Carolina. That is awesome. Here's one from Christopher. Let's see what we've got in here. Um, and if you want to, if you also have Jim Abbott cards that are just laying around that you'd like to donate, let me know. Comment. Um, you can find me on Twitter either at Living One Handed or at Ripping One Handed with the number one, Ripping Number One Handed. Um, and then we can just connect that way and I'll, I'll tell you where to send them. Um, so that would be super sweet. Just let me know. So this one, nice. So we've got at least a 90 score and a 91 tops. So it looks like there are like three or four cards in there. Nice. Thank you very much. That again was from Christopher Casilli. He's in mass. So awesome. And then a nice fat little stack right here. Let's see. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is another favorite of mine. The 89 Tops Jim Abbott. Very cool. And then we've got a 91 Don Russ. And we've got an 89 Upper Deck. So those ones are from Jason Howell in West Virginia. So thank you, Jason. Um, thank you guys. So a nice little stack here that we have started. Look at that. And uh, that'll be super great for me to have to, to just pull from when I have the opportunity uh, come up. So uh, just to, to recap a little bit, if you're interested in participating in this, um, you can find my stuff at livingonehanded.com. I'm at Living One Handed, all spelled out on Twitter. Um, also, Ripping, the number one handed, is kind of my baseball account on Twitter. Um, Instagram, at Living One Handed as well. Um, so just contact me through one of those means. Twitter's probably the easiest um, at the Ripping One Handed um, account. And then uh, I'll let you know where to send them and, and just pop them in the mail. Um, don't feel, nobody, please don't feel like you have to. Um, it's just kind of a cool thing to, that we get to do. So, um, so grateful. Thank you so much, uh, hobby community. You're awesome. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm excited to, to go forward with these and get them into some little hands. All right, you guys are great. Um, I would really appreciate it if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and uh, by all means, come on back. We'll do this again, all right? Thank you guys for watching.